Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 13 QPR2 Beta 1 and I have it installed on my 7 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. To show you the new changes, on the left I have the 6 Pro running December 2022 update, the stable version. And on the right I have the 7 Pro running QPR2 Beta 1. And let's start with the lock screen as it got a couple of new changes. The first one is in the unlocking keypad. You will see a wider emergency button. The second change is the now playing search button is now shifted towards the top, same as the song name. Now let's move on to the home screen. And the first change is the much bigger gap between the icons and the dock. Also, the widgets look smaller in the newer version. So if you take a look here, uh, you will see they are on the same size but there is a bigger gap here between those two widgets. Also the margin between the screen edge and the widgets is much bigger. So I hope Google will revert back to the old design because there is a lot of wasted space and it doesn't look as good as the stable version. The second change is in the folders design. Now when you tap on any of the folders to expand you will see a much bigger box with more margins between the icons and the edges. Also the font is bigger and the folder is now shifted towards the bottom to completely cover the icons underneath it. The third change is in the widgets shortcut. So when you open it on both, you will see here the widgets appear in two columns instead of only one like before, and it will become more obvious in an app like Google Chrome. As you see, it's much shorter and easier to reach on the newer version. The widget speaker also got some tweaks. When you take a look here at the suggested section, you will see two widgets instead of only one. You will also see smaller previews for some widgets like the battery, the clock widgets, YouTube music, and more. But I also found other widgets to have bigger previews in the newer version like the YouTube music turntable one and the conversation widget. The last change related to widgets is in the digital well-being one. As you see, both are set to the smallest width, but the newer version doesn't show the app names. But when I make it slightly bigger, it will start to show them like this. And it seems like the smaller space for the widgets will decrease the amount of information we can get. And this is another reason why I want Google to revert back to the old design of the home screen. And I spotted a bug in the at a glance widget after installing this version. When I connect my pixel buds, it doesn't show the battery percentage anymore on the at a glance widget, even though the connected devices toggle is activated. Moving to the Google search widget, when you tap on it on both, you will see now it supports material U colors. The app icons are now shifted towards the top and instead of showing at the bottom under the search results. And also there is no mic or Google lens icon. And when you access the system wide search from the home screen, the search bar no longer has a frame. And the last change to show you in this chapter is the smoother animation you get when you double tap the middle bar to switch between the apps. Next, the notification shade and quick settings area. When you do the first swipe, you will notice two things. First, the battery percentage will disappear and it will be replaced with the estimated time for the next charge. And the font used in the clock and the date is lighter than the stable version. But what's interesting here is when you do the second swipe, you will notice here a totally different design. First of all, the clock is much bigger and the date is under the clock instead of being on top of it. You will also see a separate line for the network name and then all the status bar icons will appear in another line, which will also shift all the tiles towards the bottom. The media controls also got a new effect. So let me play a song on both and expand the quick settings. If you take a look here at the album art, you will see a new shimmer effect that stays for a few seconds and then stops. And the same thing happens when you pause the media. And it also happens with most of the interactions. So for example, when I use the progress bar, it will take place. When I hit the like button and also when I skip tracks. Now we are done with the notifications shade. So let's talk about the differences under settings. When you go to notifications and then do not disturb, then schedules, you will see two changes. First, there is a new bedtime schedule that didn't exist in the previous version. And also the flip to shush is no longer showing in the newer version. Under sound and vibration, when you scroll down a bit, you will see the spatial audio option is back again with this build, which is missing from the previous one. If you have Pixel 6 and later, you should be able to see it. And please let me know in the comments if it works with your Pixel Buds Pro, because I don't have one to try. Next, under display and then screen saver, 
you will see here the when to start menu has one missing option which is while docked now we only have while charging and while docked and charging and if you have this build installed on your pixel 6 pro you will see the same screen resolution menu where you can choose the full hd resolution if you want and when you try to set up a fingerprint you will see a different page first the title is different it says here left then touch again and instead of touch and hold the fingerprint sensor and also the description is different in addition to the graphical representation has a different icon which is also smaller and the color is brighter so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i spotted in qpr2 beta 1 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything and if i found more features i will definitely make a follow-up video but for now thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video